Hi. What you guys are about to see is an excerpt taken out of a series I'm calling Kaimoi Diaries. The idea behind Kaimoi Diaries is to show kind of a behind the scenes, day to day, or interesting look at details in living and training as a fighter in Thailand and what goes on in the gym and these experiences here that are hard to show in other content. So this episode of Kaimoi Diaries is me going with some of our boys to fight at Lumpany and I'm exploring the strange feeling of being somewhat included, but also an outsider as the only woman at my gym and women are not yet able to fight at Lumpany. So if you wanna watch this entire episode, link to that is in the description. And the Kaimoi Diaries series has over three hours already in it. So go check those out as well. I hope you guys enjoy it. But again, they're getting, they're getting Carabao ready and they're totally making fun of him like they're pretending to put oil on his face. Um, they're tickling him. That's the um, first fight getting ready on the right and then Carabao's opponent is going to come over and start getting massaged on the left at the same time. They're very aggressively massaging that kid's stomach. This is a huge part of the pre-fight massage that I actually super don't like. Uh, but they'll also do it in the corner if you've been taking a lot of knees. Thank is making fun of Carabao for being a little bit ticklish. And that's Gangot who's helping with the massage. He's fighting later that night um, and he's still tasked with helping get Carabao ready. There's no like, oh, you're a fighter, you have to like do nothing and stay on the side and like just relax and all that stuff. It's, these are not like super high stakes. You go as a team and you help take care of each other. Um, there are some boys coming in the later group uh, that will show up in a minute who came specifically to help be cornermen, but they um, show up a little bit late and just kind of jump in whenever they get there. <laughs> Bank always knows when the camera's on. <laughs> find him very funny. So Kerba has to like find his cup. Oftentimes they'll get their massage in the opposite color shorts than what they're actually fighting in. Um, but Carabao only has one pair. He's, um, I think he only has like 10 fights altogether. Um, he's fairly green, although that number of fights might just be the number of times he's fought in like kind of semi-formal stadia. That's Tara who just came in. She rode with Krunu's uncle. And again, women coming into this space is like not a big deal. Nobody's like turning and staring at the woman who just came in. It's like not a big deal that she's there at all. Nobody's asking what she's doing. There's a refreshing degree of boredom <laughs> in these back rooms that I kind of really like. So this is after Carabao's fight. Um, he just lost. That's his opponent right in front of me. And that's Carabao sitting on the bench with a friend of the gym helping take off his hand wraps. Um, there are sneaky ways to be supportive and tender to a fighter in Muay Thai that we might miss as Westerners. Taking off someone's wraps is one of them. Um, when I'm really upset about a fight that I lost or did really badly in, I refuse to let people help me take off my wraps because I'm a dick. Um, and it is not a good move. Um, this is a sign of taking care of the fighter to sit there and let someone help you take off your wraps and um, take for boys take off their cups and prajat and things like that. But this is actually my favorite footage um, from this day is Carabao is clearly upset. Um, it was a rematch against a kid he lost to last time and he fought really well. Like nobody was disappointed in the way that Carabao fought except for him. He fought really hard, um, and he's holding it together really well. Like, he's very composed, but Gang got behind him is getting ready for his fight. They're starting to wrap Alex's hand. Like, there's very little attention paid to whether Carabao won or lost, and there are just these little, almost invisible ways in which the boys are caring for him and taking care of him. Um, at one point, Bank puts a shirt on Carabao's shoulder 
so that he can wipe his hands on it to get the oil off of his hands. And this is Carabao's opponent, like, right next to him. They're in the same room together, and it's no problem. And in that moment when Bank was wiping his hands, it was kind of just a way to be able to touch Carabao without it being, like, a hand on the shoulder, it's okay, kid. It has the same sentiment, but without the, like, obviousness of it. I thought it was really beautiful. And now Krenu is getting Alex ready. Alex is the main event. And Pinu just kind of starts this front part of his hand wrap. And then Alex does the back part to, like, make sure that the tightness is correct. Which is just an indication of how experienced he is in um, knowing how he likes his hand wraps done. And Pinu is, like, not... <laughs> worried about it. It's not like, I have to take care of you, I'm the one who knows how to do the hand wraps or anything like this. Neither of them are concerned about where I am in the space. I was a little bit self-conscious about being too close or too far from Carabao. Like, I wanted to support him, but I wanted to support him kind of in a similar way to the ways that the boys were. Like, I didn't want to be embarrassing about it and be like, you did fine, because nobody was talking to him like that. And here's Bank helping with the Prajat, and you just saw Team run in to grab something because now Genga is getting ready to go on stage. But look at how quiet Carabao is. Like, he's not making a big deal about how upset he is, but he's also not, like, putting on a ridiculous brave face. He's just kind of allowed to be disappointed just so long as he's not, like, making a big deal about it. And his opponent, as well, is not being celebrated by his team in any obvious way at all. Hey, so what you guys just saw is an excerpt taken out of an hour-long episode of Kaimoi Diaries. If you want to see the full episode and the series, you can go to the link in the description below. As a patron, you can also see the Muay Thai Library Preserve the Legacy Project, which is long-form training sessions with the crews and legends of Thailand trying to preserve the technique and the men themselves who are the carriers of this beautiful uh, gift of Muay Thai in Thailand. Um, check out the link in the description below. There's more than 60 hours in the Muay Thai library already, so check it out. There's lots to see. <laughs>